do it to remaining, to stay for hundreds or yeah, two hundreds or thousand years. But the question is, the, uh, this gesture, who is of course a pure poetical gesture, who is that like a rainbow and after we'll be gone? I guess that's where I need to understand a little bit more, uh, a little bit more about the something? legitimacy of the art form itself. Well, then, 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 then. We're going to have a sandwich. If you'd like to join us, yes. I'd love to have it. Okay. okay let's go. Let's... Will you join us? Because we have to join you. What led you to this mode of artistic expression? Okay. Now, the old painting, or the painting on the wall, was invented only 500 years ago. And it's curiously now was invented by the Dutch. The Dutch was merchant, they need, they have commodity, and instead to have, they need something like a gold or silver to be exchanged. And the Dutch man, Jan van Eyck, discovered the oil pigment and started to paint painting who can be transportable. Before that, art was much more complex, much more um, uh, uh, related to uh, sculpture, to architecture, to the uh, something all together. There was no definition between painting, sculpture, architecture. They was all working together. You can find many elements of my work of art related to the, uh, to the old uh, artists who were doing the cathedral or the temples or the great gardens or the great uh, festivity for the king. In some way, even the art was done for the kings was probably much more democratic because the kings was related to the gods. And, because, and everybody owns the god and the kings. And uh, contemporary art, look back to the history of art. They try to revitalize, they try to inject in our very advanced society with enormous possibility. This great resource was completely forgotten by the evolution of the capitalist, excuse me for the word, capitalist individualistic society. And today the man buying work of art closes in his room and nobody can see it. Even he is reluctant to lend it to the museum to be seen for a few weeks and after that try to take it back home. The, when the people go to the museum and they're confronted with the object right away, watching like that, and, and, and they, don't, they miss all that creativity. And I think that, that... You will never catch any person you know waking up his wife and kids early morning saying, let's go if it's still there yeah. in a museum. But they will do that here. No, because it's the And there is a temporary. tenderness for such a fragile thing. It will go. It's like a flower. They will be gone. You can't put that on a drawing. Can we also 